All right, welcome guys. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this series for building using Cocos Creator to different platforms. In this section, we're looking at how to build for Facebook instant games. Again, this is another beauty of using Cocos Creator. You write the code once and um, you can deploy to multiple platforms. So first thing I'll do is um, in my browser, I will go to this uh, developers.facebook.com. So if you're logged on to your Facebook, um, developers.facebook.com, then here in my app section, I'll go and say create app. So here, of course, um, you could put um, a name that should be associated with this app. So for example, I'll just put um, shoot, shoot star like that, and then this will generate an app ID. Of course, I need to submit um, a capture okay so as you will see this app ID will later on be needed um, for us to be able to um, to do what I want to do so I'll copy the app ID and then in Cocos creator I can come to the project then go to project settings and then here in the project settings I can then uh, insert that app ID so that I use uh, different services so yours will start off from there so you can come to service and then check the Facebook service then here you paste the app ID you can check Facebook live video if you want the app to be able to use that but of course you need to read the SDK for that same thing as audience network if you want to include uh, Facebook ads and uh, uh, things like sharing or adding it to the Facebook uh, instant games platform. So I will click save and then I will come to build. The other beauty about Cocos Creator uh, when it comes to Facebook instant games is that you do not need to install anything um, for this uh, to be able to, to work. So basically you just select Facebook instant games. You won't need to install um, any single one too um, that, will, that, that will be needed. Um, Cocos Creator in itself is able to create the file that you upload um, to Facebook. So in this case, um, after you've selected that, of course, my build path is Cocos Build, which is a folder um, that I have here, Cocos Build. So this is where I'm creating the, the, the Facebook uh, game. And then I select the first scene that will have to be loaded as usual. Then um, you can leave all of these um, options um, the way you found them. Um, you, um, if you want to speed up network requests, you can check this option. Um, my game is quite small, so I will leave that out. Of course, your orientation, uh, set your orientation the way you want it. Um, let me try landscape this time around. And then you basically click uh, build. So this is going to package everything um, in one uh, in one process. So let me just wait for it to to finish. Okay. So when it's done, it's going to open the folder. You can see in Cocos Build, my build path. There's Facebook Instant Games, and inside here you will have this zip file. This zip file is the one that gets uploaded here on Facebook. So I'll come to my uh, dashboard. So once I'm on my dashboard, I will come to instant games. And then in this case, I'll come to web hosting. So in web hosting here, you can, uh, you can see that I can come here to upload version. And then here, I'm going to select um, my zip file. So my zip file is in D, Cocos Build, Facebook Instant Games, uh, Shootstar. And then I will upload um, this zip. Of course, you could put some interesting stuff there if you want. But um, this is uh, simple enough. 
so the zip file is what you upload remember that guys it's the zip file that you upload the zip file is what you upload it will create the zip file um, for you so it's going to process then when it's done processing you can basically uh, push the star uh, button this is going to push this to production when you push this to production um, you basically you will be able to um, test it okay to be able to to, to run and uh, test it so um, in this case um, for me uh, this means that um, it's it's been uploaded and it's um, it's 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 fine. The only thing um, to do um, to test. So once it's in production, you can then um, come to review. Um, here in review. Okay, let's see review no not review but rather uh, details okay so you should be able to put a number of things so you can choose your your category so for example mine's action um, my orientation there you put publisher and then uh, you put a tagline to describe the game so that's basically um, um, some of the information you'd have to put you would have to also upload images for the app icon, the cover image, and follow the standards that are set up by Facebook, and then um, a sample video for the gameplay. You could also create a new page for it, and then um, you will be okay. So in this case, uh, what I would do is basically uh, copy this link that's shareable, and then um, I will open it just to preview how my game uh, looks. So this should give me a good idea as to whether it's good to release or not. But before Facebook allows you to, um, to release this, this game, you would have to do quite a number of, um, of other things. So you would have to make sure you are verified by Facebook. You need to agree to the uh, terms and conditions. They will ask that you even submit your, your, your identification. So, course creator um, creates everything that you need you don't need to do anything you 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 you, you create everything um, without installing any additional things so i will end here um, thank you okay so the key thing to remember about about all these facebook developers um, with instant games is basically the fact that um the way I played it, um, that's only available to me, um, meaning I can't share it with my friends. For me to be able to share it with my friends, I would have to be verified by Facebook. There's a number of steps, um, and even before you add it to instant games, um, you'd have to come and set up um, a whole lot of um, some of these APIs uh, from here. So as you can see, um, the account, uh, Facebook login, um, audience network, uh, messenger, um, things like that. So you'd have to come and um, uh, do that. If you want your game to be showing up um, in, the, in the Facebook uh, games list, you'd also have to set up that. So um, that's not going to be available to everyone is basically the point. It's only going to be available um, to yourself. Uh, you, the owner, uh, of the game no other person is going to see that so keep that in mind as you test that link is only available for you anybody else you send it to um, this link will not work for anybody but yourself it's just for you to be able to test 
Um, later on, if you include all the information, you would also have to create some documents um, for privacy policy and things like that besides adding images and icons and descriptions and things um, like that. You will later then um, have to send the game into review and um, it can be denied um, but it can be accepted so you should definitely um, give it a try. You should uh, try getting it approved. So this is basically where I will end. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, this has been great.